Welcome back. In our session today, we will talk about how to write research questions in qualitative tradition. Uh, you may have already heard about, I mean, you may have already done studies in quantitative tradition, and you know how to write questions in a quantitative study. But today we will learn how to write your questions in a qualitative traditions because uh, the questions, the way they are set up in a qualitative study are not same as we see in quantitative studies. So let's learn today how to write research questions. But before we do that and, and talk about that, let's learn or maybe like briefly revisit how research questions are written in quantitative tradition. So you remember in quantitative studies, your research questions are closed-ended and specific. What, what it means closed-ended? So closed-ended is like they are very specific and they are like answer a question more in the sense like yes, no. Rather than being exploratory, the research question, the way we write in quantitative studies, they are closed-ended and they are very specific. Further, in quantitative traditions, research questions are focused on They are focused on understanding the impact of one relation, uh, one variable on another variable, and maybe uh, a combination of uh, variables. So you want to see the impact of one variable on another variable, and that's how you try to frame your questions. Another thing that we focused on in quantitative research question, the way we write it is, Focus on finding relationship. So what is the relationship of variable A and variable B or variable C? So you are trying to find out a relationship between variables. Also, as I said previously, you want to see the impact of variable A on variable B. So the way research questions are framed they are focused on either checking out the impact of a set of variables on other variables or the relationship between a set of variables and other variables. So more focused on finding impact or relationship. And they are written more closed-ended and specifically, more specificity. So let's take an example. Let's say as a researcher, I want to know the relationship between room temperature and quality of sleep. So the research question I will frame is, what is the relationship between room temperature and sleep quality. So in this research question, you could see that I'm trying to see a relationship between variable room temperature and another variable which is sleep quality. So I could design a study where I can um, I can measure room temperature and measure uh, sleep quality and see if these two variables are related, uh, how they are related. Is there a relationship or not? And if there is a relation, relationship, whether this relationship is positive or negative. So this is how you, uh, you know, I can write my research question in quantitative tradition. Also, I can put it more sort of from an impact perspective. So I could write, what is the impact of room temperature on 
on the quality of sleep. So this research question is seems more sort of measuring impact. I can design an experimental study and I can check out what is the impact of room temperature and quality of sleep. So you see um, in quantitative research tradition, when you write research questions, they are closed ended, which can be answered yes, no, specific, meaning that variables are pretty straightforward defined. So in this research question, you see the variable room temperature and sleep quality as defined. So you know what variables you are interested in. So closed ended, very specific, and finally focused on measuring impact of one set of variables on another set of variables or relationship between one set of variables and other set of variables. So that's how we write research question in quantitative research tradition. But here today we are focused on how to write research question in qualitative studies. Qualitative traditions, how do you frame your research question? So in qual tradition, unlike the closed ended questions that we frame in quant tradition, you put it more open ended. And rather than making it more specific, you make it exploratory in nature. So research question in qualitative traditions, they are open-ended and exploratory in nature, in nature. And finally, they are focused on experiences of people. Or maybe you could say uh, attitudes or perceptions. So in qualitative tradition, research questions are more focused toward understanding, exploring people experiences related to a phenomenon or people's attitude or perception related to a phenomenon. They are more open-ended. So rather than uh, framing a research question which can be answered in yes or no, they are more open-ended and exploratory in nature. So let's, let's understand with another example here. And let's take the same example. So here we have a quantitative research question which is geared toward understanding relationship between room temperature and sleep quality or uh, the impact of room temperature on the quality of sleep. So if I have to, let's say if I'm interested in understanding people's experiences of uh, related to their sleep experiences or quality of sleep experiences, I can turn the same research question here on which is written in a more uh, sort of a quant tradition into a qual tradition and I could write it like what are the experiences and perceptions of individuals regarding sleep quality. Now let's read this question. It is focused on understanding the experiences of individuals regarding this quality of sleep. Now, can this question be answered in yes or no fashion? No, you cannot. As a researcher, you want to understand people's experiences related to their quality of sleep. What are their perceptions? What are their experiences? So this question is framed in an open-ended manner 
and it is exploratory. Exploratory meaning that you go out, talk to people, capture their experience. So, so more exploratory in nature rather than you clearly define the variables of interest. Here you see the, the room temperature, which is clearly defined in the quality of sleep and you want to see the impact or relationship. Here, the only thing you, you have defined is your phenomenon of interest. What is your phenomenon of interest? Which is sleep quality. So that's, that's what you know. What variables might be implicated in this phenomenon? It will come out during this study. So we never define what are the variables which might be implicated in, in, in a qualitative traditions because it's exploratory in nature. So you see, this research question is open-ended, it's exploratory, and it focuses on, as I said previously, experiences and perceptions of uh, people, individuals here. So when you write your research questions in, in qualitative traditions, it has to be open-ended, exploratory in nature, and obviously it focuses on experiences, attitudes, perceptions of the people, uh, that you want to study. So that's briefly about how you write your research questions in qualitative studies and how it is different from how you write your questions in quantitative traditions. I hope that clarifies. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.